The Labour Party is facing another crisis as we get closer to the next general election. Yes, another local Labour branch has been suspended. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment. From the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite. Uh, we do have a number of stories for you guys throughout the day. If you're new to the channel, we come to you guys every half an hour usually. Uh, so subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. We're going to talk about uh, the C40 cities, the latest update on that. Uh, what's going on in London with Sadiq Khan. We're going to talk about MI5 and the Tory party. And of course, what's happening with the opposition. There's so much to talk about. But in this video, first video, we're going to focus on the Labour Party. Uh, basically, we have a situation where and recently we reported on this channel and Guido reported that uh, the local Labour branch in Leicester East, uh, whose MP is uh, in fact Claudia Webb, has been suspended and they basically, the central bureaucracy decided to take control of Leicester East. Uh, and if you guys remember, uh, Keith Vaz used to be the local Labour MP uh, in Leicester East and then he had another set of scandals and he left and they thought they could clean up the whole area and it's going to be democratic and full of accountability and then they decided to select claudia webb as the candidate and she became the mp and more chaos is happening a lot of complaints about that area there's a lot of uh, uh, intimidations and harassments and everything else been going on but now we're talking about bolton northeast yes bolton northeast is the second labor uh, local labor branch that has now been suspended. This was after a uh, Bolton North East selected uh, Kirith uh, Entwistle as the uh, parliamentary candidate. According to Guido, uh, tensions first arose when uh, Kirith uh, was chosen as a Labour's candidate over the local councillor Akhtar Zaman and councillor Rabia Jiva, both cabinet members at Bolton Council. Nine of the 13 local party executive members resigned during the selection process back in February, protesting against what they saw as interference from London in promoting a candidate they didn't want. This problem exists in both the Tory party and the Labour party and at times, at times, uh, the central office is right. Most of the time, the local branches are right because central parties are using their powers way too much. Uh, the political party system in this country has completely radically changed over the last few decades. This was not supposed to be how parliamentary party, how parliamentary democracy worked in Britannia. Uh, we had a situation where since Robert Peel and when he obviously uh, he initiated the ideas of uh, having a proper manifesto and changed the, the Tory party into the Conservative Party and everything else that happened since then. Even around that time, local parties still had more power, but the party system, since Peel onwards, became more centralised. And, uh, and this is the problem. The Liberal Democrats, the Labour Party, the Conservative Party, all of them, everything goes back to the the party headquarters and the party leader in the past party leader didn't really matter that much it was all about the local representation and it was all about the actual um causes and policy ideas it was about the party you vote for a party now it's presidential you vote for the party leader and uh, that means that the central officers of these two parties are uh, have full control over what happens up and down the country even though there are different requirements in different parts of the country. You cannot have a blanket policy, but we are where we are. And we're going to keep you guys posted on this uh, labor problem. And of course, on this channel, we're going to remain objective and also talk about the problems with this so-called conservative government. Subscribe to the channel, Amaya2C, and we are the media.